full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. To figure out why the TV won't connect to your 5G Wi-Fi, ask yourself, is the Wi-Fi connecting with other devices but not the TV? If you answer yes, then it's safe to assume there's nothing wrong with the modem or router. The alternative is that the problem has to do with the TV itself. Improper WLAN channel. The most common reason for this problem is that the TV doesn't support the router's wireless LAN channels. This is because relatively older TVs are designed to support 2.4 GHz WLAN channels, yet they're not designed to handle anything higher. Thus, you're met with slower speeds and repeated connection dropouts. Many devices are connected to the same network. While the router is designed to handle several home devices, it can slow down when they're all connected at the same time. This goes double for TVs because of their larger sizes and different configuration than a laptop or smartphone. Hence, even if the network status says connected, the signal strength can be spotty and weak, making it difficult to open up apps or stream videos. Poor Wi-Fi signal. Due to the way TVs are configured, they sometimes suffer issues related to their power cycle. This can result in the device failing to detect a Wi-Fi signal. Many times, shutting down the TV and restarting it after several minutes should be enough. However, if it doesn't work, you'll have to do a hard reset. It's more time-consuming, but it's guaranteed to restore connectivity. How to connect my TV to 5G Wi-Fi so now you've checked the specs of your TV and determined that it supports faster 5G Wi-Fi. The next step is to figure out how to connect it to your wireless network. You can either do this via an Ethernet cable or wireless. The one you opt for depends on the make and model of your TV, so check the user's manual for more information. Wireless connection. To connect your TV set to a wireless 5G Wi-Fi connection, Follow these steps. Turn on the TV. Then, using the directional pad on the remote control, select Settings, General, then Network. Next, select Open Network Settings and choose your desired Wi-Fi network. Enter the network password when prompted. Finally, choose Done, then OK. Wired Connection. Some TVs don't have wireless capabilities. If this applies to your TV set, you can easily connect it to the router or modem via an Ethernet cable, as shown below. First, connect your Ethernet cable to the LAN port on the One Connect box or the back of your TV set. Next, connect the other end to your router or modem, depending on your device. Turn on the TV and go to the home screen. Use the TV remote to find and select Settings, General, then Network. Then, choose Open Network Settings, choose Wired, and finally, select OK. How to improve your 5G Wi-Fi connection Even though they're the best of the best, 5G Wi-Fi connections can sometimes get spotty. This could be due to various reasons, including the location of your device, the layout of your home, or electronic interference. So, in an effort to help you boost both your wired and wireless connections, we rounded up these handy tips. Take a look. Reduce electronic interference. Electronic interference is one of the most common reasons behind an unstable Wi-Fi connection. To avoid this problem, try to place your TV away from devices, such as cordless phones, microwaves, or even audio baby monitors. Also, keep all types of cordless devices away from the router because they have similar Wi-Fi frequencies which can disrupt signal strength. Check the DNS server settings. Every multimedia device with internet access comes with domain name system, DNS server settings. It's through these settings that the device is able to enter the World Wide Web in the first place by converting domain names into internet IP addresses. If your TV enables 5G Wi-Fi, you have to make sure the DNS server settings are correctly configured. Eliminate glitches. Sometimes, the connection is weak due to an error or glitch in the signal pathways. 
So if you notice your connection is acting up, the best way to fix it is to unplug the router from its power source for no less than 30 seconds. This will help reset the router's connection settings and eliminate unwanted devices that may have latched onto your network. It's also the quickest way to interrupt malicious attacks, which can negatively affect your streaming experience. You can also turn off the TV for a couple of minutes, then turn it back on again. Try a hard reset. A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults. Most TV models have specific instructions. If you are still having trouble, try taking a look at the comments. I will also keep the blog post, linked in the description, updated with any new fixes that appear.